From the Amazon to Africa, primates are everywhere, except North America, and that's no accident. Primates are one of the most successful groups of mammals on Earth. They swing through the rainforests in South America, dominate the savannas of Africa, and even thrive in snowy mountains in Asia. From tiny lemurs to great apes, they've adapted to nearly every kind of environment, but there's one striking exception. North America has no native monkeys, apes, or lemurs. Aside from humans, large primates are completely absent. This might seem strange at first. After all, the continent has plenty of forests, rivers, and warm regions that could support primates. If they can thrive in the Amazon, just a few thousand miles south, why not in forests of the United States or Canada? The answer lies in a mix of deep history, climate change, and accidents of evolution. To understand why North America has no primates, we must go back tens of millions of years to when primates first began their global journey. The story begins more than 50 million years ago during a period called the Eocene. At that time, primates were not only diverse but also far more widespread than they are today. Fossil evidence shows that early primates, small tree-dwelling creatures resembling lemurs, actually did live in what is now North America. They thrived in warm, forested environments when the climate was hotter and more humid than today. But climates don't stay the same forever. As the Eocene gave way to the Oligocene, Earth became too cool. Forests in North America thinned out, grasslands expanded, and many of the primates here went extinct. While some lineages survived in Africa, Asia, and eventually South America, North America lost its primates entirely. Meanwhile, across the equator, something else was happening. Around 35 million years ago, primates made their way from Africa to South America, likely by drifting across the Atlantic on mats of vegetation. Once there, they evolved into a wide variety of New World monkeys we know today. But by the time South America was full of monkeys, North America had already become less hospitable to them. Fast forward to about 3 million years ago, when North and South America finally connected through the Isthmus of Panama. This event sparked what scientists call the Great American Biotech Exchange, a massive exchange of animals between the two continents. Armadillos, possums, and porcupines moved north while bears, cats, and deer moved south. You might think this would have been the perfect chance for monkeys to expand into North America, but they didn't. Why? The timing and climate played a big role. By this point, North America was dominated by cooler, more seasonal environments compared to the tropics of South America. Monkeys adapted to dense rainforests and were less suited for the harsher conditions further north. At the same time, competition from other mammals, such as squirrels, Raccoons, and especially larger carnivores, may have made it difficult for monkeys to gain a foothold. And then came the ice ages. Starting about 2.5 million years ago, glaciers advanced and retreated across North America in cycles. These cold periods wiped out many species and made survival especially hard for animals dependent on year-round warmth and fruit. Monkeys simply couldn't spread north through these freezing intervals, and the gap between tropical South America and temperate North America grew wider than ever. So while primates flourished in Africa, Asia, and South America, North America's climate shifts and evolutionary history created a permanent barrier. The continent lost its primates millions of years ago and never got them back. The absence of primates in North America isn't a mistake of nature, it's a result of timing, climate, and chance. Millions of years ago, primates lived here, but as Earth cooled, and habitats shifted, they disappeared. Later, when South American monkeys had their chance to move north, ice ages and competition made it nearly impossible. Evolution doesn't guarantee balance across the globe. It's shaped by opportunities taken and opportunities lost. Today, the only large primates in North America are humans, ourselves descendants of African ancestors who arrived just a blink of an eye ago. In a way, our presence completes the story Primates did return to North America, not by natural migration, but through human history. If you enjoyed exploring this hidden piece of evolutionary history, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and join our YouTube community, where we uncover the stories that reveal how our world came to be the way it is today.